E496, let's go. Okay, D5. And D4, yeah. I promised myself many times to learn the theory here, but I always forget to do this. I think I normally, I think it's either E5 or Castle Swan. Maybe both are fine, let's go with E5. Just takes, then I thought I can take on D1, and I thought it would be kind of okay for me. Maybe I was wrong. I'm actually going down, why would it be okay? Maybe because my pieces are kind of better developed. Yeah, we should do three. Yeah, I can include h5. h3 takes on f3, then h4 and take on e5. Which is probably okay. I could also try doing something weird. Don't know what is weird exactly, so... Okay, let's go h5. Do I actually need to take on f3? Like, if I want to take on e5 anyway, maybe my pawn is better placed on h5. I don't know. Maybe I don't need, don't need to spend time thinking about it. I could also consider some bishop f5, which is kind of fancy and probably not the best move, but somehow I want to play it. Okay, let's just, let's just play it simple. So bishop e2 runs into, yeah, okay, doesn't matter anymore. It just takes and probably bishop e2 is a move. Or bishop e4, but bishop e4, I just go g6 and then go f5. Not that it's not that it's a drama for white, I'm just trying to explain what I'm doing here. I think it's slightly better for black. His bishop is kind of misplaced after all, and now after c6 he doesn't have any good square. So now after f5 he wants to take on f5. That's why I just play bishop g7. And now f5 is an idea and knight c4 is also an idea. Still not a big drama, maybe he just goes through kd1, then after knight c4, I don't know if he will have to... Yeah, to look for some tactical way to solve all the problems. I don't see it clear yet, to be honest. Alright, now... I mean, he could just play knight d1 and give up a pawn, but it's not equal, for sure. He just plays rook d1, which is even more weird, in my opinion. Who really cares about my opinion? Like, first of all, I can just take on b2. Secondly, I can play something like knight d2. So, rook e1 is pretty much forced. A rook 8 would be winning, but he has bishop of 5 check. Yeah, I could just take on c3, go 92, take on e4, go rook d1 check and rook d2, rook f4, then I just go f5 and probably winning. Oh, knight takes b2 is winning as well. Why Why do I need to be brilliant here? Yeah, I had a big number of moves, even some king c7 would make sense. Because then knight d2 would be a threat, he would probably 
play bishop d3 and then we would take on b2 but anyway that's good for black now we give a check and go bishop e5 so let play f5 and then yeah, i have many good moves here in this problem okay let's i don't know let's go with five So after rook g3, I have rook a1, and then I collect a2 and probably promote it. It goes bishop f3, then the plan was to play rook b2 and bishop d4. c2 is hanging as well, by the way. All right, still, like bishop d4, he wants rook b2. He kind of has a hope to save it, right? Actually, maybe he will. I just take on f2 and take on g3. I don't know what is that. At least I don't think I'm wondering anything huge, like I have a four here. So, yeah. If it's not a blunder, then it's probably a dead loss for white. Okay, it stays. Yeah, now I'm sort of confident I'll go h4 to protect the pawn and have three pawns to make at least one queen out of them. I guess I'll manage. Okay, let's go h4 just in case. Now we start promoting. Or okay, I don't know, it's too five. I'm good at this stuff and I have three passers with zero control plan and normally you know what I'm doing here. Okay, D4. D3. Hope I don't need to explain what I'm doing exactly. Now we have another guy to join the game. Okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's go back to the challenges again. Uh, what do we have here? 